a lot of my friends came here. Also, I felt the most comfortable with this campus because it was a, a campus that was very um, friendly to working class students and a lot of first generation students. Well, my main deciding factor to attend CSULA was its location and easy accessibility to public transit system. I quickly learned that I made the right decision during my first quarter here. The class is small and most of our professors learn our names by the end of the first week of the quarter. As a proud Navy veteran, I can tell you that CSULA is friendly to veterans and returning students. We have a Veterans Resource Center and vets get priority registration. Originally I chose Cal State Los Angeles because it was convenient, it was close to where I lived, where I worked, and also they offered night classes. And then I found that I was working with active scholars in a variety of fields. And over the years, they've taught me how to think and write like a historian. I came to Cal State LA through the early entrance program. I was admitted when I was 14 years old. I grew up in LA, so it was uh, great to stay home and be with my family and get to go to college and experience new things uh, at an age that most people don't really get to. I completed my undergrad at the University of New Mexico, and it was one of my TAs in that program that recommended that I come to Cal State for my master's. I had specifically told her I was interested in working um, with human remains and uh, human rights cases. I chose Cal State LA because it was nearby and offered many great scholarships. At first, I became interested in becoming a doctor because that was pretty much all I heard about. I didn't know about other careers and opportunities. But once I got here, the faculty and other students encouraged me to pursue a career in research. When I first came here, I thought I was pre-med, and so I majored in biochemistry. Like many immigrants, I only knew about the big careers, medical school, dental school, and law school. I hadn't even heard of research until one of my professors recruited me into his lab, and it wasn't long until I fell in love with it. I was a social work major prior to being a geology major and um, I felt that because the programs were so large that I wasn't receiving the individualized attention that I got here at Cal State LA with our professors who um, really go the extra mile to um, give you individualized attention. They will take you aside if you aren't understanding things. They will email you directly, um, accommodate anything that you really truly need to um, graduate. When I started college, I was not a math major. Um, I took a calculus course during my second quarter here, and the professor was Dr. Subramanian. So he was the first professor who noticed the potential in me and encouraged me to pursue a double major with math. Um, my first thought was, no way, I don't think I can do it. Um, but then he never gave up in trying to convince me that I could do it and I could even go further in that field. And really, to this day, I'm very grateful for his persistence. Initially, I wanted to study finance and law because I always had an interest in law. I took finance and accounting courses, but I was getting deflated. I wasn't getting any intellectual growth. But when I took a cross-listed class and got into Pan-African Studies, I knew this is where I belonged. I knew nothing about research. I didn't know anything about physics. I didn't even think I wanted to go into physics. I was going to be an art major. I took one astronomy class and I was sold. I learned a little bit about cosmology. It was so fascinating that I switched my major. Now I have my own project where I'm studying innate antimicrobial factors produced by our own bodies to fight off bacterial infections. Learning is more fun now because what I'm learning isn't just for a grade. Since I joined the lab, I started making connections between the lecture materials and biomedical research. And ever since then, my grades have just gone up. Before I came to Cal State LA, I didn't even know that a career in research was possible until I was taking a class and my professor was looking for research assistance for her lab. And um, that's when I realized that what I thought I wanted to do wasn't really what I wanted to do. I wanted to do research. And joining the lab has just opened my eyes to how much curiosity and asking questions, how important that actually is in science. And now I love it and that's really helped shape me into who I am and it's prepared me for a PhD program. I was awarded a research grant and studied filiopiety. I presented my paper at the 10th annual CHGS Student Research Conference which was a great experience. 
Last year I was editor of Perspectives, the history department's annual journal. Student editors get to publish original research produced right here in our department, in our classrooms, and by our peers. I was interested to go uh, pre-med, and it wasn't until I got into the Howard Hughes Biomedical Professional Development Program that it actually opened my eyes into what the other world could be for me in terms of science, which was research. Well, by working in the laboratory, I was able to gain important skill sets that helped me uh, through graduate school and beyond, and it actually sets a foundation for what I do today as a public health laboratory director. I researched under Dr. Oscar Bernal with a nuclear magnetic resonance. I learned m so much in that research. I learned a lot about uh, the hands-on experience of physics. We got to go to uh, Triumph, which is in uh, Vancouver, Canada. I never thought I would ever get to go to a place like this. I was, felt so honored to be there. Among all the physicists and scientists, it was a wonderful experience. In sociology, research gives us the ability to not only look at the statistics and the numbers, but it also involves the real stories and the voices of the people that need help. You're not going to have the changes in policy unless you have the research behind it. Today, having research experience is a big advantage. Even medical schools want to see that you've done some sort of research in a lab. I had five publications as an undergrad at Cal State LA, and that gave me a big competitive edge. At other universities, research is just for postdocs and graduate students. And I see students from other universities who come here and haven't had the opportunity to do as much research. And I feel that they're not as prepared as our students. Uh, Cal State LA, what it did for me mostly was uh, give me advice, advice and uh, support that I needed. I, came in and kind of unsure of, of myself and my abilities. I met with advisors, I found mentors, and they helped guide me throughout the process and helped me graduate. I had a lot of obstacles and I had support every step of the way. They were fellowships and I was able to be paid as a student to help me pay for school. That was one of the best things. Kept food on the table. <laughs> The faculty and staff put forth every effort to make sure you're learning. They truly want you to succeed and they will put in 110% effort inside and outside the classroom to make sure you truly understand and truly love your subject. At Cal State, you don't feel like you're lost in the crowd like you would be at other universities. Um, all the professors are incredibly approachable and kind. They'll greet you walking down the hall and they'll know your face and they'll know your name and it just makes it feel like it's it's an academic family, it's a second home. My mentors here have been very influential. I started the program shy, introverted, and without any experience and within the first quarter here at Cal State LA, I had my own project that I was working abroad in Belize every summer. I've presented at national and domestic conferences, and I've been winning scholarships that help pay for tuition and help fund my trips to the field. Field studies are really important. Seeing something in a book and seeing it in the field are two completely different things. So the geoscience department has field studies in almost every class. Pictures in a book don't do it justice. You need to see the fault structures. You need to get out there and see the formations and understand the processes that go into making them. You really need to get your face down in the dirt and look at the minerals and rocks. You have to complete um, field work and these field experiences, especially when you're interested in things like osteology, it's recommended that you go out of the country. So I went to Guatemala to work on human rights cases uh, I worked there for five weeks with the Forensic Anthropology Foundation of Guatemala, and we exhumed and identified remains of um, people who had been disappeared during the 36-year internal armed conflict. Cal State really pushes you to go out and find your own experiences within your field, as well as trying to provide you with as many opportunities as they can here on campus. In the Geology Club, we go on trips every quarter, and we have mineral sales to help fund them. We sell rocks, minerals, crystals, fossils, really cool things that people enjoy having and looking at. We've been to Joshua Tree National Park, the Long Valley Caldera up near Mammoth, and Zizek's out in the desert. Just recently, the whole club got to go to the Grand Canyon, 
It was a lot of fun, and we even got to see snow there. My senior year here, I was able to work on a one-of-a-kind legal clinic that no other institution that I've heard of has. And the clinic focuses on uh, helping uh, underprivileged communities that don't have access to legal services. Even now in law school, they always tell me, you know, I wish my undergraduate school had a clinic like that because it would have been an amazing experience. The forensic anthropology students have an opportunity to work at the coroners and you get to work on um, cases that come up throughout the year, which is an amazing opportunity and experience and not one that is offered um, at very many places. Last year at the 7th Annual Pan-African Studies Forum, our guest speaker Dr. Cornel West visited and I wrote the introduction. It was great when he came because everyone was excited just to meet him and ask him a few questions because this is someone everybody admired. In geology, they challenge you not only academically but also physically. About a year and a half ago, I was um, approximately 60 to 70 pounds heavier, <laughs> um, so really struggling to get up the sides of the mountains. So um, there was a point where I felt that I wasn't cut out for geology, and I really did question if it was um, cut out for me. So during the time that I was taking all those geology classes, I lost all that weight, and now <laughs> I am much more in shape and I'm much more confident in my abilities as far as being out in the field. And it was truly a transformative experience, not only academically, but physically. <laughs> I worked on the Raise LA project to raise the minimum wage for the hotel workers who are up to 40% of our community workers. We went into the community, we asked for support, and the LA City Council approved it. And now the minimum wage for a hotel worker in the community is $15. It was really inspiring not to only learn about all these social injustices, but to also be part of the solution. Our department has many relationships with local museums where students get real experience in public history. This summer I was hired as a museum teacher for the Autry National Center's Autry in Residence Outreach Program. I've also worked here in the classrooms as a teacher's assistant. I am the lead program assistant at MESA, which is the Math, Engineering, Science Achievement Program at Pasadena City College. I handle the logistics for the center and I'm the assistant to the director. I still receive emails from my advisors that come and ask how I'm doing, checking up, telling me about opportunities for graduate school. That is something that's helped me tremendously and that's something that I'll always keep for the rest of my life. Currently, I'm the Public Health Laboratory Director uh, for the County of Los Angeles Public Health Laboratory. We test for agents that are of public health importance and are communicable. Uh, these include agents such as Mycobacterium tuberculosis, Salmonella, Shigella, Botulism, Ebola, and other uh, agents of chemical and biological importance. I really like the natural science program just because it was I was able to get experience with all sciences. It's one of the majors that you don't just focus on one, although my emphasis was chemistry. I was also able to take physics. I took a lot more math. I took biology. I took biochems. I took physical chemistries. I took all the sciences. So it's a very well-rounded program, which is why now not only am I uh, credentialed for chemistry, I'm also credentialed for physics. It was a very good program. It helped me learn all the sciences very well. I teach a lot of the introductory physics labs, which is great to me. I love taking the students who don't have much background and just walking them through the course. I feel like I'm changing lives. Every day I look forward to going to work. It's really great. Uh, the main reason why I wanted to return and teach here is because I want to give the students the same positive experiences that I had while I was a student here. Uh, the learning experience, uh, opportunities, and especially the connection between the student and faculty in this campus were just incredible. I was a participant of the MORE programs, which provides test prep and workshops to get you ready for PhD programs. Because of my great mentor and the support from the MORE program, I am able to go from undergrad to a PhD program this fall. This past fall, I applied for PhD programs and I felt prepared not just academically, but professionally and personally as well. I've been accepted into two PhD programs and I'm waiting to hear back from even more. I applied to several PhD programs and was accepted to many.
so I went directly from my bachelor's to a PhD at UCLA. Many of my friends here at Cal State did the same thing and went on to places like USC, UC Irvine, and MIT. I was the commencement speaker at my graduation here this, this past June, and it gave me the unique opportunity to share with my fellow graduates how proud I am to be a Golden Eagle and how much it means to me to come from this university and everything this university has given me. It really meant a lot to me and it's a very memorable experience that I'll treasure forever. When you have a sense of purpose in what you're studying and what you're learning, every day is fulfilling.